This is the instructional video for vacuuming sleeves. <laughs> okay, you just clean inside the groove with a plug and the bottom groove with acetone and a clean rag. And you get your O-rings, put back grease, thin film around the O-rings, place one into the top groove, like that. So I think it's got factory, yeah, it's got factory. So you can either put that on there like that, or you can place into the pump out port, which is the go over here. Or you can place into the pump out port like that. Which is a bit safer. Yeah, well, a bit of one, a bit of the other. Vacuum does funny things to them. And then what I do is I just put the plug in like that. Then I grab my vacuum head. Take this one because it'd be better. Yeah. It's got O-rings around here, right? Oh yeah. There's all of them. Place K40 O-ring on the top of pump output. Press down firmly, making sure that it's nice and even around the top of the pump output. Then locate your pump out head on top. Have secure with. Pay a 40 plan. The pump's over here, so we turn that that way. Do clamp up nice and firm, so it's not too loose, so it's got a sloppy fit. So it's nice and firm like that, doesn't want to move around. Then just put your T bar, screw it in to the plug. Do you feel the bottom out on the plug? This stage, there's a vacuum in there. I'll take no, yeah. no. it. There's, there's, there's no vacuum. There's, there's, I'll take it they're not doing with the vacuum in. So, do yeah, so it's yeah. just going to be the sleeve? Yeah, yeah, just the sleeve, yeah. Okay, so no vacuum in the sleeve area. You can just pull plug up like that. So you still got a bit of hose with your head. You still got a bit of hose. Just place hose on the T bar. And just make sure it sit there like that. And it stops it dropping back yep. in. Stops it dropping back in. Yeah. Okay, we can hear vacuum pump hose. It's all connected up. Just connect that to that outlet for the KF40 onto the head. And place clamp around. Again, two up nice and firm. Like that. Now you're sleeping through the pumping. Yep. You want to go through this too? Then? Yeah. Okay. I'll take the know how to use the vacuum pump. Yep. Okay. All you do then is just put the vacuum pump running, all set up properly. Just open up your valve. Well, and you sleep and start to pump away and slow it up down. Turn the vacuum on the line. Good. You see some smoke coming out of this. Uh... Yeah, the smoke's all right. That's just that's just the atmosphere inside the sleeve coming out, going through the oil, which, which, right. is, which is normal. It just burns off the atmosphere. So how long do you leave it on this? In this? Uh, well, I don't really know. So I don't want this. <laughs> Look, it could you know it could be a couple of hours. You go by the reader and see how it's yeah. uh, So we, we connect a reader. This is the reader yeah, port. The reader. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, go get, I'll go get a reader. Yeah. So this only being a small um, unit, it won't, it won't take very long to uh, pump down. So you can probably see some uh, movement on the reader straight away. So the pump's connected up. Um, you can have it so you can pump a couple at a time. Okay, so just <coughs> grab your reader and place it on the appropriate pins. Just pull down. Because we've already started the vacuum and it's already pulling down, 
Initially, it'll just be at 0.001, something like that. Or the 1.1. One, one and then it'll just come down, keep on coming down. So basically when that gets down to 0.001 and it stabilises, then your vacuum should be okay. Yeah. And that should take how long? An hour or two? Yeah, most likely. Depends if they're going to put heat around it. And if yeah. that's all insulated. Yeah. If that, <coughs> that's insulated and you've got heat around it, that will stay up a, a long time. Yeah. Because you're drawing the moisture out of the sleeve into the pump and taking that out and that's what you have to get out. Yeah. Otherwise your vacuum just deteriorates rapidly after that. So we don't leave it on for at least two hours or even longer. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like I said, I'm not too sure how they've done these before, so I can gonna go. Right. So that's um, the basic process. Yeah, well, that's pretty much the basic process. So we'll knock it off now and then come back when, when it's the final vacuum. So this this uh, been on the been on the pump now for about three hours, and you can see it's down at uh, seven, microns. seven microns. So I think that's uh, it's only a small tube, so it's come down reasonably quick. So we're we ready for isolating now. We're ready for isolating. Are we sure? Oh, well, this is the isolation process. So make sure it's it's at seven microns. Or below. Just plunge the uh, plunge it, plunge it in, and then unscrew it. You can hear it click off. Or you can get a feel. Yeah, once we've isolated the uh, the plunger, um, then we can start turning off the. I'll disconnect in the pump. Turn off the uh, block off the vacuum completely. And ready for starting uh, the movement of the pump. Sean will continue with the uh, exercise now. It's like this, and we're releasing the vacuum at the top of it, and that's the plunger all completely sealed up. Use the uh, appeason in the top of the uh, plunger, just to make like a double seal, just in case there's a slight leak. And then we, we finally put the final cap on it. And, and then put the, the, the right special seal. seals on, which are there. Stop people actually messing with it later on. And that's the end of the old uh, video. Hope you uh, have successful vacuuming. Any questions, please? Thank you, Sean.